Yes. Hey, I'm the general manager here. I'm going to explain this to you one time, okay? I need, I, need you to, I need you to understand and just listen to me, okay? This gentleman was given a violation notice on his window for a registration violation. Do you understand that? I understand. Yes or, yes or no? Uh, may I speak? I understand. No, I, I'm, I'm speaking. I just want you to answer me yes or no, he called, and I'll let you speak. He called in, and you told him you were not going to no, truck his... you're not going to let me speak. Well, okay, yes or no, you told him that you were not yes going to no, tow his you truck. You understand he got a registration violation well, on his window. Yes or no, you got a call from him and told him you were not going to tow his truck and that it was fine. Okay, so so, so why did you tell him you were not going to tow his truck and then you towed his truck? Why did you tell him you were going to tell tow his not going to tow his truck and you went ahead and towed it? Why you, did you, you do you that? We weren't there for the phone conversation and we didn't have that conversation with him. Well, I no, think you me, did because his, his speak, truck. Speak, okay? Well, certainly, if there was something wrong, he would have taken care no, of it. If speak, you had given him, speak, you didn't intend to give it. Well, why didn't you? You didn't intend to give him a That's warning. No, are you going to let me speak or no? Okay, he was given a uh, registration violation on his window. Okay, orange sticker marked registration violation. He responded now, to it. Uh, if if he called, he has called. records of calling. He has records of it on his phone. He called you. He would have taken Once care again, of it. You're just talking and not letting me finish. Well, you know, yeah. Then I'm going to terminate this conversation. You have a nice day, okay? You want to let me talk or you want to end the conversation? What would you like to say? I'm going to explain the situation to you. So please don't, please don't interrupt me, okay? If he called in and was told, yes, if your vehicle is currently registered and is properly registered, no, you will not get towed. Okay, however, this vehicle has a Nevada plate on it with no expiration sticker on the plate. In the state of Nevada, the registration has to be affixed to the vehicle, meaning that an expiration sticker has to be on the plate. If he did not do that, he is not properly registered and he is subject to be towed. Bottom line, that's it. It's not our responsibility to go out and put stickers on people's plates. That's up to the person who owns the vehicle between him and DMV, not us. He called okay. you. Now, he was given the notice, not fix the problem, therefore he was towed. That's it. Well, first of all, it's unconstitutional for you to come on private property and tow first anybody's of all, it's car. Not any guns, any we have absolutely. A right to do that because we work for the property management company and the board. It doesn't matter. The board doesn't have a right to make any rules that are unconstitutional. Nobody can go on private property. No, listen to me for a minute. Okay, nobody I'm can go, now. go. Yeah. Okay. Well, nobody can go on private property to tow anybody's cars registered or not to start with. But second of all, if you are going to go outrageously to tow somebody's car in that way and they call you, you need to be specific. You had his phone number. You towed his car before illegally and you did it again. You, he, he called you and he cleared it up. You said you were not going to tow his car. You have his number why can't you call him and say sir you need to put a sticker or whatever it is specifically that you feel is wrong and give him an opportunity a reasonable opportunity to fix the problem that's what you need to do and that's not reasonable to just come out and tow somebody's car there was no sticker the sticker was taken your violation sticker was taken off because he called in and took care of it and you said he wasn't going to tow it then you come back and tow it there's no sticker on his car i really think that you should you should bring the truck back and give him an opportunity to just um fix the problem okay is it my turn to speak again sure. okay let's let's point let's touch on these subjects that you just brought up okay First of all, you have rules and, and regulations you have to follow being on an HOA. Okay? Those are in your CCNRs. Those are Nevada state laws. Well... You being, you being, no, let me finish now. It's my turn, remember? You being a homeowner, you should know all those rules. Well, okay? I you do know the rules. You have to abide by those rules. Second. Well, rules cannot... Me, not, not done yet. Rules when he can... was told earlier, he was not told illegal. Did you get your money reimbursed to you from us? No. Not told illegal. You paid the fees. He picked up his car. It didn't okay. mean that he agreed with it. Oh, oh, because you don't agree with it doesn't mean it's totally illegal, ma'am. Okay, I don't agree with a lot of laws, but I have to abide by them. Well, they, they, that is not a law. What you're doing here is not a law. There if is no law. law then, there then is no law or rule. For stealing his vehicle. Well, there's no law that gives you the right to come in call, and steal. Call the police his... and tell them to come arrest us for stealing his vehicle then. And see what they say. Okay. I'm asking you to bring it back to... I am not going to bring it back. He needs to come pay his fees and pick up his vehicle. You don't feel that you wrongly towed his car? No, I do not. And you don't given, think... He was given proper warning. He was given proper time. 
to have a, uh, a proper signature to have the vehicle removed. He That's called it. in and asked you what was wrong, and you didn't tell him what was wrong. Is that correct? No, it's not correct. It is correct. It is not correct. He called in and asked you what was wrong. He, and he called you... in and said, I got a sticker for a registration violation, but I have current plates on my car. Current, and you're properly registered? You don't have to worry about being towed. But if you're not, then you got to worry about being towed. There seems to be a trend here with this gentleman. Okay, he was given warning uh, for the first tow. He's giving warnings for this tow. There seems to be a trend with your company towing cars. Neither do you. There seems to be a trend with your company towing trucks and cars. We're asked to do. Well, no, you don't have a right to just tow cars without without warning. Come come here and arrest us all, because we're doing it illegal. One call. Give him a call. Let him know to come on down here. If the police show up here, arrest us for stealing his car, I'll give it back to him at no charge. How about that? You know that you're going to have to be sued in order to get it back. We're trying to avoid that. We just want to get his just truck do back. That's all you want, ma'am. Well, you, you can't just be towing cars and trucks right, without you can warning. With, with the lawsuit, all you want. I don't want to have a lawsuit. I just want to get his truck back. I don't want to have a lawsuit either. I want people to follow the rules. If people follow the rules, then we don't have to go through this, do we? We're following the rules. You and him are not. We are following the rules. He called no, in. Not, he, got towed. he called he in. Tow. He called in, and you didn't tell him what was wrong. There was a mistake. I'm asking you okay, to help. Okay, he made a mistake. It. He's got to learn. From he his didn't mistake, make a mistake. You come down, and pay his fees, and he can get his vehicle back and not make this mistake again. No, it, it, you ha- If you're going to tow a car, you need to tell him specifically what is wrong. Period. Okay. You know what? We, if we see a tire that that is flat. And the, and the people call up and say, uh, my tire's not flat, it's just low. Do we have to tell them you have to have a certain amount of air pressure in the tire for it to be deemed flat? Or is it just flat? That, that's a different... What pressure, what pressure does the tire go flat? That Which doesn't, the that doesn't have to do with the situation. Want to be specific? Let's be specific. Being specific adult, is you need to tell them... If what a registration violation means and fix the problem, his fault, not mine. Well, no, you need to tell him what is wrong oh, before you... he needs you t- to get educated. He We're asked... here to educate people. You are there to educate people. No, he not. called in. You cannot we're tell we're a car. We're education here. You are... Yeah, we're if you're going to... If you're going to tell... Him, people warnings. If you're, warnings. Excuse me. It, you, it, a warning. It, it is your job to educate... Don't fix it. Excuse me. If well, you're going to tell... A, and then you can do it? You're wrong. I'm, you're wrong. Okay, then sue us. Well... You know, that is up to the tenant. I'm done talking to you.